Hi there and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Tonight we feature Northern Michigan Christian and Midland Calvary Baptist in a Gold Division semifinal matchup. So sit back and relax. Let's play Quiz Central. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. And it's a big game tonight, our Gold Division semifinal matchup featuring Northern Michigan Christian out of McBain and Midland Calvary Baptist. There are just a handful of teams left from the 48 that started the Quiz Central season. The four divisions are based on the size of the school. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. They're vying for scholarships from Central Michigan University, and Rick Westover has more about that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, everybody get ready to play along at home as we jump right into the maroon and gold round. The maroon and gold round gives you two minutes to answer questions quickly and correctly. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There's no talking among team members and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's get right underway here. What class of medications which have prompted the establishments of PDMPs are drugs such as fentanyl that are responsible for an ongoing crisis. Nick, Mich Northern Michigan Christian. Opioids. That's right. What politician who prosecuted two men responsible for the 1963 bombing of a Birmingham church was elected to the Senate from Alabama in 2017? Next question. What type of diagram or plot invented by John Tukey uses lines to mark quartiles and medians of a data set? Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist. A number line? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Northern Michigan Christian. Nick. Uh, a Cartesian plane? Nope, both wrong. Okay, we'll come back to that. A church fire kills Johnny Cade in what novel that depicts the rivalry between the Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist. The Outsiders? You, you got it right. What anarchist who was the son of a Polish immigrant assassinated William McKinley in Buffalo in 1901? Next question. Archimedes legendarily boasted that he could move the earth with what simple machine, which consists Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist? A lever. That's right. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals used the first overall pick, uh, Jew, Midland Calvary Baptist. Tyler Murray. You got it. The rocks of Cape Cruz appear in the upper right corner of what painting depicting a swarm of ants and melting pocket watches by Salvador Dali? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. In pursuit of memories. I'm sorry, I can't accept that, Midland Calvary Baptist. Evan? Uh, pursuit of Time? Nope, I'm sorry, both wrong. You'll kick yourself in a minute. What brilliant title character of a Roald Dahl novel uses telekinesis, and you rang in just be at the same time, so go ahead, Evan. Matilda? You are right, that is correct. Okay, so now, let's regroup here. We have a score of 40 to 10. Midland Calvary Baptist has the early lead. The anarchist who assassinated William McKinley was Leon Cholgosh. The, uh, let's see, the painting by Salvador Dali was the persistence of memory. And the politician who was elected to the Senate from Alabama in 2017, Doug Jones, also a type of diagram or plot invented by John Tukey, was the box and whisker plot.
So again, we have a 30 point game here as we take a quick break and get to know our contestants a little bit better. Let's go to the team from Northern Michigan, Christian and Kendrick. Hi, I'm Kendrick Smulligan. I'm a junior at MC. I play three sports and I love hunting and fishing. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm a junior at NMC and I like music, writing, and I'm a member of the drama club. Hi, I'm Garrett Langton. I'm a senior from NMC. I'm the captain of the Quiz Bowl team and president of NHS. I'm Nick Huker. I'm a junior at NMC. I play basketball, soccer, and I'm also a member of NHS. All right, nice to have you here. Alternates for NMC are Aria Cuccinello and Wesley Correll. They're coached by Dave Van Heitsma. Let's give them a nice round of applause. All right, now to our team from Midland Calvary Baptist. Hi there, guys. Tell us about you, Jude. My name is Jude Tembush. I'm a senior at Calvary, and I play soccer and basketball. Hi, my name's Nathan Bright. I'm a senior at Calvary Baptist Academy. I'm on the robotics team, play defensive midfield on soccer, um, and I also play the violin. Hi, my name is Faith Howell, and I'm a senior at Calvary Baptist Academy. I'm a part of the drama team, and I plan on studying professional and technical writing in college. Hi, my name is Evan Figueroa. I'm a junior at Calvary Baptist Academy. I like to sing, I like to act, I'm bilingual, and I like to have a good time. All right, you're in the right place. Midland Calvary Baptist alternates are Corbin Walton, Noah Haynes, Caitlin Schmidt, and Macy Stringer. The team's coach is Mary Hillebrand. Let's give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> and now the action continues with the Quiz Central kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers a toss-up question will be asked a bonus. Stumble on the bonus and we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response. The team members can consult on the bonus questions. Captains, remember the answers must come from you on the bonuses unless you defer to a colleague. Here is your first toss-up question of the kickoff round. What property decreased by the common ion effect and measured by the constant KSP describes a substance's ability to dissolve in a solvent? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Solubility. You got that right, and here is your bonus question. The 1492 decree by which Jews were expelled from Spain is named after what palace? Need an answer. I'm sorry. Alhambra. Alhambra is the correct answer. All right, back to both teams. What route, whose highest point is Klingman's Dome, runs from Springer Mountain to Mount Katahdin and is a 2,200 mile hiking trail in the eastern U.S.? Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist. The Appalachian Trail. You got it, and another bonus. The first association football game occurred in what city north of London whose Cavendish Laboratory is part of a large university? Manchester? Nope, Cambridge. Okay, back to both teams. What character who wears a wimple and a hat as broad as a shield tells of a knight who learns what women desire in a story from the Canterbury Tales? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. The Wife of Bath. You got that right. And let's give you guys a bonus question here now. The Long Valley is a collection of stories set in the Salinas Valley by what author of Tortilla Flat? Steinbeck. That's right. Back to both teams on a toss-up. What man who was martyred with Simon the Zealot names a children's research hospital founded by Danny Thomas? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Jude. You got it. Here is your bonus. John Carreyou's book, Bad Blood, profiles Elizabeth Holmes, the indicted founder and CEO of what troubled blood testing company? No answer. All right. Theranos is the correct answer. Another toss-up. <laughs> what 1968 campaign featured a massive attack on American defenses by the North Vietnamese and began, the Vietnam and began on the Vietnamese New Year? Kendrick, Northern Michigan Christian. The Tet Offensive. That's right. Here's your bonus. Christopher McQuarrie now helms what franchise in which movies like Fallout and Ghost Protocol follow IMF agent Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise? Mission Impossible. You got it right. Okay, toss-up question. What name did Marcel Duchamp give to his ready-made sculpture consisting of a urinal turned on its side? 
and that is a fountain. Another toss-up. What Russian composer of the soldier's tale wrote Symphony of Psalms in his neoclassical period two decades after he wrote the ballet The Firebird? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Tchaikovsky? Nope, I'm sorry. How about Northern Michigan Christian? No answer. Stravinsky. Okay, and perfect timing there. We are at the end of another round. So we have a very close game. It couldn't get much closer. It's tied up 60 apiece. So this is an exciting game. You're going to want to hang around as we take a quick break. When we come back, we'll play the perfect 10. Don't go away. I took astronomy from Carl Sagan in 1977. The guy had a huge influence on me. Cosmos on PBS it was Carl Sagan's lectures with fabulous graphics. Bill Nye, the science guy. PBS and I are perfect match. It's just wonderful programming, not just for kids, but for all of us. Carry on, carry on. Oh my God. Don't you people have school to work on? Today, children have more ways to learn and grow than ever before. But in rural areas of our country, millions don't have access to high-speed internet. For these families, television is often their only source of educational programming. The new PBS Kids 24-7 channel is available for those who need it most, providing content that's proven to build important skills for every child. Hi there and welcome back to Quiz Central and The Perfect 10. The Perfect 10 gives teams 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from their choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked missed or passed questions. As we mentioned, we have a tied game here, so we flipped a coin during the break. Midland Calvary Baptist won the toss and decided they would go first. So here are your clues to the categories. Marvelous Medicine name game, and I'd like to buy all the vowels. Marvelous medicine, name game, and I'd like to buy all the vowels. Which one would you like? <clears throat> Decision, please. And we'll do the vowels one. The vowels, okay. And your actual category is super vocalics. Give these words or phrases that are super vocalics, meaning they contain each vowel exactly once. Cabinet department headed by Betsy DeVos. Pass. Two word term for punctuation at end of interrogative sentences. Question mark. Right. Plural term for inspections of corpses. Autopsy. Autopsy. Right. Alliterative two word term for men who helped establish the U.S. Founding fathers. Founding fathers. Right. Capital of Haiti. Port-au-Prince. Yup. Woman who depends on the kindness of strangers in a streetcar named Desire. Pass. Capital of hell in Paradise Lost. Hades? Nope. nope. <laughs> Type of penitentiary that titles a rock song by Elvis Presley. Jailhouse Rock. Got it. Psychoactive drugs that include psychedelics. Pass. And Spy, played by Mike Myers in Who Battles Dr. Evil. Sorry, we're out of time. Okay, Northern Michigan Christian. We would like you to give us these words or phrases that are super vocalics, meaning that they contain each vowel exactly once. Cabinet department headed by Betsy DeVos. Department of Education. Yes. Woman who depends on the kindness of strangers in a streetcar named Desire. Pass. Capital of Hell and Paradise Lost. Pass. Psychoactive drugs that include psychedelics. Defer to Nick. Uh, hallucinogens. You got it. And Spy Played by Mike Myers, who battles Dr. Evil. Austin Powers. That is right. Okay, and just under the buzzer at that. Capital of Hell and Paradise Lost is Pandemonium, and the woman who depends on the kindness of strangers was Blanche Dubois. But we have two categories left, and so those are, and they go to Northern Michigan Christian, Marvelous Medicine and Name Game. Marvelous Medicine and Name Game. Okay. <laughs> name Game? All right, <clears throat> your category is eponyms. Give these nouns derived from the name of a specific person. 
two or more slices of bread with a filling in between. Sandwich? Yep. A system of writing for the blind using raised dots. Braille? Yep. A type of petroleum fuel often used by large vehicles. Diesel? Yep. An annual horse race usually restricted to three-year-olds. Pass. A close-fitting one-piece garment often worn by dancers. Tutu. Nope. A mathematical procedure for solving a problem often used in computer programming. Defer to Nick. Oh, no answer. I'm Pass. sorry? Pass. Okay. Uh, tortilla chips topped with melted cheese. Nachos. Right. A knitted sweater or jacket fastening down the front. Cardigan. Cardigan. Yep. A refusal to do business with some organizations as a form of protest. Boycott. Yep. And the addictive alkaloid in tobacco. Sorry, we're out of time. All right. Over to Midland Calvary Baptist. Give these nouns derived from the name of a specific person. An annual horse race usually restricted to three-year-olds. Pass. A close-fitting one-piece garment often worn by dancers. Unitard. Nope. A mathematical procedure for solving a problem often used Algorithm. in computer programming. Algorithm. That's right. And the addictive alkaloid in tobacco. Nicotine. That's right. Okay, our score there. Now Northern Michigan Christian, 150, and Midland Calvary Baptist, 130. The uh, correct answers there, the annual horse race, uh, usually restricted to three-year-olds is a derby, and a close-fitting one-piece garment is a leotard. Okay, we've got a good game going here, and we're going to keep the action going as we move right directly into the home stretch round. The home stretch round is like the kickoff round. It's a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The uh, I'll ask a toss-up question, and the team that answers correctly will be asked a bonus. If uh, you get the uh, bonus right, we will uh, go on and ask another toss-up question to both teams. The first toss-up question of the home stretch round is... The Victoria Line, the Piccadilly Line, and the Jubilee Line are among the lines on which city subway system? Evan, Calvary, Midland, Calvary Baptist. London? Yes, you are right, and so here is your bonus. What field of physics whose Copenhagen interpretation predicts wave function collapse includes an uncertainty principle named for Werner Heisenberg? Quantum physics? You got it right. Okay, here is another toss-up question. What Republican whose vice president was Levi P. Morton served as president in the 1890s between the two non-consecutive terms of Grover Cleveland? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian. Benjamin Harrison. You got it right. Okay, another toss-up or a bonus question for NMC. Leonid Brezhnev ordered the 1968 invasion by Soviet troops of what Eastern European nation? Ukraine. Need an answer. Defer to Jenna. Ukraine. Nope, I'm sorry, it's Czechoslovakia. Next toss-up question. What concepts whose formal type includes in affirming the consequent are instances of invalid reasoning such as the gambler's one in probability? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Circular reasoning? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Northern Michigan Christian. Go A ahead, paradox? I'm oh, sorry. A paradox? Nope, fallacies was the answer. What present-day country is where Daisy Miller dies while on vacation in a Henry James work and is the setting of a bell for Adano? That country is Italy. Another toss-up question. What element of an electrochemical cell at which reduction occurs forms the electron gun that generates rays in a vacuum tube in old televisions? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. A cathode? That's correct. All right, here is a bonus question. In physics, what quantity can be measured in meters per second cubed and represents the rate of change of acceleration? Answer? Um, pass. It's jerk. Jerk. And I'm not referring to you. <laughs> Next question. It's a toss up. What feline character would appear and disappear, leaving behind its smile in Alice in Wonderland? Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Cheshire Cat. That's right. Here's your bonus. In June 2019, what professional sports gambler completed a 32 game winning streak on Jeopardy, during which he won over $2 million? 
defer to Kendrick? James. <laughs> That's as far as you go. All right, well, you're half right. Holtzauer was his last name. All right, another toss-up question. What country contains the mouth of the Zambezi River, has its capital at Maputo, and names a channel that separates Madagascar from mainland Africa? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Sorry, Su Su uh, Suez. No, sorry, NMC. No. Go ahead, Jenna. Mozambique. You got it. Here is your bonus. What nickname given by the Roundheads to the Royalists who supported Charles I was later adopted by those Royalists? Cavaliers. That's right. Another toss-up question. What author of Micrographia invented the balance spring, found that a spring's stretch is proportional to the applied force, and coined the word cell? Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Who is? No. Uh, okay. I don't have an answer. Nope. All right, then let's give NMC a chance. Okay, neither team knows it. It's Robert Hook. Another toss up. What cross country highway, which is nicknamed the Main Street of America, runs from Chicago to Santa Monica? Kendrick, Northern Michigan Christian. I 80. Nope, I'm sorry. How about Midland Calvary Baptist? Uh, it, Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I-95? Nope, I'm sorry. It's Route 66. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the answer is just too obvious, isn't it? Okay. So there we go. We are almost through the game here, and we still have a tight one. Northern Michigan Christian, you have a 30-point lead. Our score right now is 190 to 160. We are going to take another short break here, and when we come back, we'll see who wins this thing with the final countdown. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters. Antiques Roadshow. Nature. Nova. Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, we have a 30-point game as we move into the Quiz Central final countdown. This is another two-minute rapid-fire round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Two good teams here. Good luck to both of you. Here we go with final countdown. What rival of Sidney Rigdon became the first governor of the Utah Territory after assuming leadership of the Mormon Church from the late Evan Midland Calvary Baptist? Brigham Young. That's right. A traveling actor known as The Player meets the two title characters of what play by Tom Stoppard, whose title is A Line in Hamlet? Next question. Sorry, a little too late, Faith. What man painted irises? Well, he was San Jaime's Metal Asylum, where he also painted a cypress tree against a swirling sky in the starry night. Jenna, Northern Michigan Christian. Van Gogh. That's right. After John F. Kennedy's death, the National Symphony Orchestra performed what American composer's mournful work, Adagio for Strings, to an empty hall? Kendrick, Northern Michigan Christian. John Williams? Nope, sorry, Midland Calvary Baptist. We'll find out in a minute. What character who is forgiven for thieving silver by the Bishop of Digne? Garrett, Northern Michigan Christian? Valjean. That's correct. Carbon dioxide exhibits what molecular geometry observed when a molecule has a bond angle of 180 degrees? Evan, Midland Calvary Baptist. Triangular? Nope, I'm sorry, Northern Michigan Christian. Go ahead, Jenna. Bent? Nope, nope, we'll find out. The King Wen sequence is an arrangement of the 64 hexagrams found in what classic Chinese text, often used for divination? Next question. 
What country, the only original member of OPEC outside of Asia, elected the first Pink Tide president in 1998? Nathan, Midland Calvary Baptist. England? Nope, I'm sorry, and I will give finish this here. That president was the socialist Hugo Chavez, Northern Michigan Christian. No answer? Okay, we will move on. The Russo-Japanese uh, Russo War. And that means that our game is over there. And Northern Michigan Christian, you hang on to win. So you are our semifinal gold division champions. Let's give them a nice round of applause. We have a few questions to revisit from that last round there. The play by Tom Stoppard was Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Uh, the American composer was Samuel Barber. Carbon dioxide exhibits linear geometry. The King Wen sequence is an arrangement of the 64 hexagrams found in Yi Jing. And the original, only original member of OPEC outside of Asia was Venezuela. But again, a heck of a game here. Let's give both of our teams a nice round of applause. And for their win today, Northern Michigan Christian will go on and face Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart for the Gold Division Championship game, and that'll take place on June 6th, so set your calendars for that. But for the meantime, that does it for another edition of Quiz Central. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Until we get together again, join us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for watching. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.